we were changing um our classes and then we was inside the hallway and then we just heard a um, gunshot. Through the eyes of a seventh grader and a witness to the shooting, a powerful recount from Printasia of what took place at Tanglewood Middle School on Monday afternoon. The call came in around 1230 Monday afternoon from the Tanglewood Middle School resource officer. This boy had a gun and then he shot one boy uh, in his side. Officials say the shooting happened at the front part of the building and the victim identified as 12-year-old Jamari Jackson. Law enforcement quickly on scene securing the school. The suspect, also 12 years old, was eventually taken into custody. You know, every police in Greenville County was there, and ambulance. They running in with guns, not handguns, but rifles with the scope on them. Angela, the mother of Printasia, said she actually showed up to the school a little early for a 1230 meeting as things began to unfold. She later found herself with dozens and dozens of other parents with a sick feeling in their stomachs, not knowing if it was their child that was shot hoping to be able to pick up their kids at Brookwood Church in Simpsonville after nearly 40 buses transported them from the school to the church with a police escort. Brookwood Church was filled with hugs, tears, and an appreciation for being able to see the ones you love most. You don't know if your kid got shot or, you know, they, no. I mean, I was so terrified, I didn't know what to do. My heart was in my stomach, you know, because I couldn't find her. Nobody wouldn't tell me nothing. Other parents expressing the same emotions. But just glad to have my kids and able to just hold my arms around them. Michael has an eighth grader and a sixth grader that attend Tanglewood Middle School. He and Angela say after being reunited with their kids, it gave them a different perspective to offer other parents. No disrespect, teach your kids, teach your kids not to be bullies and you know, try to teach them, protect them the best way you can. When they come to you with a problem, listen. All you got to do is listen. Even if you can do something about it or not, just listen. You know, it might save a life. Hey, don't try to be big head. Don't try to be a big head and go in there and interrupt what, what the law enforcement is trying to do. Let them do their job. I know it's hard to do as a dad or a mom to sit back, but... Just let it, letting the pros handle the situation and get it under control. And when you get your kids in your hands, just don't ever not cherish another moment. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.